Hi guys, this is what I'll be showing you how to make. It is a log cabin quilt block. The finished size of this quilt block is 14 inches. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I have over 300 videos now on my YouTube channel. I am going to create this log cabin quilt block out of my own pre-cut jelly roll strips. So these jelly roll strips are basically the width of the fabric, whatever width of the fabric you have. This one I was running out of, it's um, and it's going to be two and a half inch in width. So basically what you want to do, you want to have like three different colours going into different coloured gradients. So I've got a light pink, I've got a medium pink and a dark pink. In the centre of your log cabin quilt block say that really fast um traditionally it's normally either a red square or a yellow square and it's supposed to symbolize the heart of the home um obviously i'm not being traditional so i have done a two and a half inch block so this is what we're going to be starting with and then on the other side of the log cabin quilt block we are going to be using blues the whole point of it is supposed to be one side is supposed to be lighter and then the other side is supposed to be darker so i have selected some blues here so you've got light into your darks again so my light fabrics are going to be on the right hand side of my quilt block and the darks are going to be on the left hand side of my log cabin quilt block my first block is going to go at the bottom here so this has to match two and a half inches so i am going to cut this two and a half inches i'm going to have to watch that i don't cut that center piece there there we go and we are going to sew this at the bottom with a quarter of an inch I am not paid nor sponsored to create this video. I sew using a Baby Lock Soprano. In the top of my thread here, I'm gonna have a regular white polyester cotton. In the bobbin, I am going to have a white polyester also, and I sew using a 9014 Microtex sewing needle. I am gonna do a switcheroo on my foot because we are going to sew using this quarter of an inch foot with guide. And just so we can see here are my settings, I'm going to put that pivot key on and I'll show you what that does in a minute. And we are going to sew that first piece into place. So, every time I stop on my presser foot, on my presser foot accelerator, this is going to raise up and down automatically. This is what the pivot key does on the Baby Lock Soprano. Now I'm going to place my foot on the accelerator and it'll automatically lower. It's absolutely brilliant. So we're going to have some loose threads here. So just cut them away. So it's nice and tidy. Then you're going to open the two sections. And as a rule of thumb, we generally want to press the dark side. I mean, here and all there, they're both pretty light right now and we can just press that seam there we go so always just arrange your log cabin quilt block the way that we were saying so we're gonna have the lights over on the right hand side of the log cabin quilt block and we have the darks on the left hand side of the log cabin quilt block so now i'm going to get another piece of pink and we are going to line it up with this side now. So I am going to place this here. And you can always just use your last piece as a cutting guide. I'm going to take my ruler, place it on top, and cut. There we go. Now to make sure that everything's right we want want this to be like this and we are going to sew this here so you're going to do a quarter of an inch stitch down here once that is done just keep snipping your your loose threads away like so and then you're going to open it up and you're going to press okay so now we have to go from the top here and now we're going to start going into the darker side of the log cabin so i'm going to get my blue 
and I'm going to move my light pink away so I don't end up using it again because we're not going to use this again now. We're going to get the light blue. I'm going to line it up here. I'm going to flip it over and I'm just going to cut. And then we are going to sew a quarter of an inch here. I've opened it up and I've pressed it and I'm going to use that same strip again and we're going to put it on this side now. So I'm going to get that all lined up. I'm going to flip it over and then we're going to cut this off at the bottom here. Now I'm not going to use any more of this. I'm going to put it to one side so I don't accidentally use it again. And I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch here down at the left hand side of our log cabin. I have now pressed it open and now we're going to be working back at the bottom again. I'm going to take the next shade of pink and I'm going to place it at the bottom here. Lay it out and then we can cut the fabric. It's better if you turn it the other side. If you do it on this side, then you can see exactly where you need to cut. And then just stitch across the bottom here. And let's take the other piece of pink and it's going to go along this side here. The reason why I did it with two and a half inch strips is because you can easily purchase jelly roll strips already pre-cut. So this is a great block to choose if you just want to do something that's a little bit simpler than just a square quilt block but still is really simple quick and effective to do so we are going to sew along here now we're going to get our next shade of blue and i'm trying not to use joe you know where it's been on the loom here i always like to chop that bit off because i don't want that showing on my log cabin quilt block so let's go back at it i'm going to get this next blue here and this is going to go along the top of here so i'm just going to line everything up flip it over and then just cut I'm going to be on the wrong side of my knife now. There you go. Now we are going to go down this side. So I'm going to match everybody up here. And then I'm going to cut my section. And then sew once again down. So I have my last pink for my lug cabin quilt block and it's going to go along the bottom here and I am going to cut this once again and then we're going to sew and now we have to put another one on the other side so I am just going to sew all the way down and now we need the blue section to match the other side so that's going to go along here. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. So then you're going to put the final piece of blue on the left hand side of the log cabin quilt block. It's going to go right here. So like I said at the beginning of this video, if you were to do this from a jelly roll, then your finished block size would be 40, 14 inches square. I have over 300 videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click like, comment down below, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.